So Tony Jerome Romo announced on Tuesday that he's retiring. First off, I already call BS on this whole thing because number one, who was Tony Romo's childhood idol, Brett Favre, who retired and unretired about 17 million times, so it doesn't really matter. And this is all posturing. And all the sites are on with Tony Romo retires, going to take over for Phil Simms as a lead analyst on CBS, the number one team. I call BS on that because Tony Romo has been trying to get released. And Jerry Jones, through narcissism, is trying to squat on his rights. He doesn't, if, if he gets rid of Tony Romo, he wants to trade him. He wants to get a third or fourth round pick. He wants to get some value. But overall, Jerry wants Tony Romo, the undrafted free agent out of Eastern Illinois, the pride of the Dallas Cowboys, to play his entire career as a Cowboy. I truly believe that. And as small minded and as petty as that may seem, and as disloyal or not rewarding loyalty throughout the years to Tony Romo, that's how Jerry Jones operates. And don't suspect for a second that all of these dominoes coming into place that Tony Romo doesn't come back once he's cut as a post-June 1st designation so the Cowboys can get some cap relief from Romo's contract that he goes and signs with Denver. He goes and signs with the Texans. Kick the can down the road with the CBS deal. It'll be there waiting for him. Yeah, I easily see that happening. And also, Tony Romo stepping into the number one team with CBS, the broadcasting team, taking over Phil Simms. No one's talking about that as being complete BS. I know that Bonnie Bernstein has, but it is absolute garbage that a guy who, yeah, Romo may be great. He's fun. He's charismatic. He's good in the media. He's good on camera, but he's never called an actual game before. He had zero experience, and all of a sudden, he's thrust into the number one team, who, by the way, has to do Thursday night football games with him on CBS, and the premier Sunday game on CBS as well. That's no small task. And think about you will, think what you will about Phil Simms. Most people aren't a fan. I'm indifferent to him. And just coming in, zero experience, and you were leapfrogging guys at CBS, like Rich Gannon, who, yes, He's from Minnesota, or he lives around here in Minnesota. He's fantastic. It, I think if Sim steps down or is fired, that they should elevate a Rich Gannon, who's put in years of color commentating, and he's become quite good at it. I think he's actually the best color commentator on CBS. Also, Solomon Wilcox, he's been around forever as well. So, Tony Romo, with no experience, is leapfrogging these two guys at CBS. Not to mention, looking over at Fox, you got Moose and Charles Davis, and all of a sudden, you're kind of like, it's kind of BS. It is absolute shite. Yeah. Like, e even Troy Aikman, when he went up to the booth, and I, I think that Troy Aikman is the best color guy uh, calling NFL games right now. He's the next John Madden. He's probably better than John Madden. And even Troy Aikman spent a year on the B team with Fox, you know, learning the ropes out of the spotlight before they elevated him to the first team with, with Fox. And that's what they should have done with Romo. It's BS all the way around, but it's okay. Because Romo's going to be a quarterback of the Texans anyways. Much to Jerry Jones' chagrin.